morning reception and welcome to a brand new week of maths. We're going to start some new learning this week. We're going to start on page 20 today that you can see here. Page 20 and it's about grouping and sharing. Now last week we did a little bit of work on sharing when we were halving amounts so that might be a little bit useful for you to use this week because we are sharing, but instead of sharing into two equal groups, we're sharing into different amounts of groups, okay? So you can work on page 20 today, but I'm just gonna do some examples with you on the board, so hopefully you'll understand it a little bit more. So, on my board it says three groups of two. Three groups is the first thing I heard there. So I'm going to do myself three boxes. One, two, three. They are my three groups. And inside each group is going to be two. So I'm going to do two circles in each group. So now I have three groups. And of two, one, two, three, four, five, six all together, three groups of two. Let's have a look at the next one. This time it says two groups of three. So this time I want two groups. So I'm going to do two squares for my groups. One, two, and inside I have to put three. So I'm going to do three circles this time. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I've got my two groups with three inside. And all together is one, two, three, four, five, six. Another six. Okay, at the bottom there, the last one. Four groups of one. Four groups this time. So I'm going to do four boxes. One two, three, four, they're my groups and I need to put one inside each box. One, 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 one. So four groups of one is one, two, three, four. We're just counting in ones, aren't we? So we've got a six and a six and a four there. So we've got the groups and we've got the amount that we put inside each group. Okay. Now the next thing on your page to look at is, is to give the dog, is to share the bones between the dogs. So you've got on here a little table for you to look at and to work out how many bones would the dogs have. So I'm going to have a go at doing it on the board here. So I've got two dogs and I've got two bones. Now we know how to split these bones, don't we? We can give one bone to this dog and one bone to this dog. So the dogs have got an equal amount each, that's fair. One for you, one for you. Let's have a go at another one. Okay, so this time still got two dogs, but I've got one, two, three, four bones this time. So let's practice splitting them equally. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. So how many of the dogs got? Have they got the same amount? One, two, one, two. Okay, so I haven't got two dogs this time. I've got one, two, three, four dogs. Let's see how many bones we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bones. Okay, so I've got to make sure it's fair. So I'm going to start this side. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. So we've all got one each. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning. One for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. So I should have split it fairly there. Let's check they've all got the same amount. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, that's definitely worked out well. Each dog has got two bones. So this is our first day learning about grouping and learning about sharing. I 
try your best with the book and then perhaps as an extra activity you could share out some toys with your teddies or you could share out some objects in your house with your family and make sure that you share it f fairly so that everybody has got the same amount. Hope you get on okay today. Let me know if you understand today's learning or if you need any more help from me and make sure you send in some photos. Enjoy!